So, for the next few weeks, we're going to be looking at the fruits of the Spirit. But the question is, what does that mean? Well, it's simple, really. In the same way that an apple tree produces apples, so a Christian should produce these fruits in their lives. And of the Spirit indicates where these fruits come from. The strength and ability to do them is given to us by God. So, if it's easier, don't think about them as fruits of the Spirit, but as the way that we as Christians should live. Each week we will be taking you through one of them and explaining how it applies to us. Hi, for this week the theme is... I have with me two contestants. Their job is to give you their best definition of this fruit. Your job is to try and work out which one's right. Patience is when you have to wait a really long time. Like when you're waiting for Christmas. You end up waiting and waiting and waiting. I'm not very good at being patient. In fact, I like to take everything at breakneck speed. I think being patient is boring. Why wait when you can have everything now? Patience is waiting for something to happen. Not just waiting, but being at peace waiting. Giving people extra time or understanding is being patient with them. Not giving up, but working hard and taking the time needed to do the job properly. It's hard, isn't it? We don't like being patient. In fact, a lot of our lives, we don't have to practice patience. Amazon have next or even same day delivery. We don't have to wait to watch our favourite shows on TV, as we can just binge watch box sets. We don't even have to have patience to go and get a new book. We can just download it on the internet. But the Bible tells us that we should display patience. So what does this mean? Well, when we look in the Bible, one of the main cases of patience we can see is the case of Hannah. Hannah was a lady who longed to have children. Everyone around her was having children, and lots of them. But for some reason, Hannah hadn't had any children yet. Even though she was being made fun of, Hannah didn't give up. She still went to God in prayer, every time she could, to ask for a child. One time when she was praying, there was a priest there called Eli. She was crying and praying to God, and he said that she wasn't very well because of how upset she was. Hannah explained her situation, and Eli and her prayed that she would be given a child. And guess what? Within a year, she had a son, and she named him Samuel. You see, patience wasn't giving up. It was continuing in prayer. Hannah knew that she had a God who could do anything, a God who loved her so much, even though she didn't deserve it. And so she continued day in, day out, in prayer, asking for that child. God honoured her patience and persistence by giving her the child she so desperately wanted. It's so easy to give up if things seem to be taking too long or to move in a different direction because we're fed up of waiting. But in following Hannah's example, we should be patient, taking everything to God in prayer. In fact, in Romans we read... Be joyful in hope. Be patient in, in affliction. And be faithful in prayer. One does not go without the other. When difficulties come, it is then even more important to pray patiently every day for strength and wisdom to know what to do. God, who is pure and holy, has been very patient with us. We are so sinful and yet instead of giving up and starting again, he decided to start a rescue mission. He sent Jesus into this world to die for our sins, to be the ultimate sacrifice so that we, the sinners, could go free. And in just the same way as God and Jesus was patient with us, we need to show this kind of patience to others. Whether we are getting annoyed or frustrated with having to explain what we mean or to extend kindness when the other person doesn't deserve it. That is exactly what God did for us. So, for a practical example, let's think about this. Our younger brother or sister keeps asking us to explain things to them, like... What is the moon? Or where is your heart? Or even why is the sky blue? 
<laughs> you could get frustrated that you've answered this question a million times before and they still don't get it. Or you could extend patience into that situation. They are younger than you. Maybe they don't understand so quickly. Or maybe they just want to talk to you. Being patient with them and talking them through the answers shows how much you love them. It is you reflecting God's love. You understand how much God has done for you and you want to show it to your little brother or sister. 